With Bitcoin at all time high, today I will teach you one of my cheat codes that you can use every day to make money in the Bitcoin and altcoin crypto markets. Then at the end of this video I will apply this method on the Bitcoin price and on the Solana price, right now. Let me show you. Let's check which was my worst performing video of the last 10. It was this one. The Solana pump is not over from August 18th. That was here at 68. Right now Solana price is 191. So that was pretty accurate. And those who say that my videos are too complicated to understand, I literally wrote it in the title. Solana pump is not over. Can't get much easier to understand, can it? Yet no one was interested in watching that video. Worst performing video, even though it was one of the best calls. Why is that? And there's more. Another poorly performing video, despite I think a funny intro, was this one. Guys, someone will reveal the The challengers to Ethereum doesn't stop there. One project that has sailed up on my radar is Solana, which is backed by FTX, an impressive company. Solana is doing some things differently, with a different consensus, which also aims to be faster and cheaper. Solana isn't new actually. Without getting too technical, they use the timestamps differently. They have a unique solution, they have good momentum, they have powerful backers, their total MC is less than 9 billion today, compared to Binance 49 billion and Ethereum market cap of 245 billion. That one was from July 13 with Solana at 28. And what happened after that? Price made another touch at support, then Larsen Line flipped gold here at 38. You could enter there with a touchdown on support in your back, Larsen Line gold, you could put a stop loss below support and got in before this incredible move with very little downside risk and that stop loss never hit. So you risked almost nothing and got a huge upside. Almost no one watched it. That video didn't even make the top 10 list of my videos. And it doesn't even get 1% of the views of the big channels like BitBoy and so on. While arguably, that was a pretty good market observation. Why is that? Shouldn't people like good market calls, like a buy at the bottom? Hmm. And I've experimented doing the opposite, putting something in the title that I actually don't believe in, but that people want to hear. Then I'm more balanced in the video if you watch it. But just to experiment. Cardano ADA to $12 flips Ethereum 2021. That performed extremely well, my top 3 video of all time, even though the title is wrong. Why? Why is that? Well, the psychology is this. Everyone knows that you should buy low and sell high, right? But the majority of people don't want to do that. The majority of people lose money trading. Even in a crazy bull market like this, in the crypto market. And they lose money because of this. At the bottom, they are depressed and it feels like price will go down forever, so they sell. Then they will seek affirmation, a confirmation from someone that they did the right thing. They want confirmation bias. So they go on the internet and look for some influencer on Twitter or YouTube who will tell them that it will continue down. Or they haven't bought because they bought something else. Maybe they didn't buy Solana because they bought Carano Ada with that money. Then they will seek confirmation that it was the right thing to not buy Solana. Then if they instead come across some f***ing Swedish CTO guy with a video title Solana Pump is not over, they are not going to click to watch that. They don't want to hear it. And the same is true in the other direction. Now, I'm not the only person who has realized that. Every single one of the big influencer accounts know this. They quickly figured out that if they give people what they want to hear, they will click and watch. And if they do the opposite, with price at the top, if they tell people, hey, you might want to sell here, when everyone is euphoric, no one's gonna like and watch that video. The majority of people are not making money in the market because the majority of people want to buy at the top and sell at the bottom. Then the majority of the people seek out people who say it is a buy at the top and it is a sell at the bottom. And many of the big influencer accounts, they will give people what they want because their business is views and that's what works. 
So here comes the cheat code. Once you realize this, you can also realize that many big influencer accounts are reliable counter indicators. Not because they are dumb. No, absolutely not. They're not dumb. They are just in the business of views. They just serve people what they want. And the majority of the people are wrong. That's why it works. This is not some theoretical after construction. I use this. Look here, I tweeted this in February, before the local top. Do the opposite of everyone else. Everyone puts laser eyes till 100k. Don't put laser eyes. Sell. You could literally sell the next pump and get out almost exactly at the local top. Even when the charts didn't really show it because the market manipulators had so skillfully applied the Wyckoff methodology. And then you could rebuy at half that price at support when everyone was depressed and saying it's over. Simply by doing the opposite of the mainstream influencers. And it's not just influencers on Twitter and YouTube and Instagram and TikTok I'm talking about. No, the mainstream media is even more reliable. I remember in the 2017-2018 cycle, there was a guy who set up an account counter trading CNBC. And he got like 9 out of 11 trades right by doing that. Better than almost all the professional traders. Because CNBC are also in the business of views. They will also serve what the majority of people want to hear. Not what is right if you're here to make money. Because CNBC's business is not making money trading. Their business is ad revenue, which comes from views. You'd think that people would learn and stop watching them if it doesn't work right. No, 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 they don't. Just look at how wrong most of the big Twitter accounts have been throughout 2021 and how their follower numbers are at the same time skyrocketing. The percentage of people who actually make money consistently remains pretty constant. 70% straight up lose money. About 20% break even over time, typically get out and exit when they've gotten back to even. And less than 10% can keep making money year after year after year, decade after decade, trading the markets. Not inside one bull run. That is easy, everyone can do that, but over multiple cycles. Now, let's use it right now. Bitcoin just broke all-time high. So if the mainstream media and your hairdresser are all over Bitcoin right now, maybe it's time to worry. So are they? Let's go to the largest daily newspaper in Sweden. I mean, Bitcoin is an all-time high. It's a big thing, right? Let's look. Okay, politics, Volvo cars, support to small companies, Tegnell, winter adventure. No, that was an ad. Burnout, roundabout dog, ice hockey. Cement, Pregnancy Show, Tickets to Lalle, Ice Hockey. Five simple ways to enjoy autumn apples. Hmm, all right. So maybe instead we need to look at the largest daily finance-centric newspaper. Surely it is the top headline, right? Telia, Atlas Copco, Electric Cars, Secret Millionaires, Success Stocks. I don't like losing money. Me neither. Finance inspection monitors crypto companies. The stocks are falling. High risk for money laundry. Success for shorter, heavy drops in shorted stocks. Three stocks to buy. ABB, Forest Company, Bank. The stock is still worth a buy. Stable from Nordea Bank. Nothing, 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 nothing. But maybe that's just in Sweden. How about Forbes? Ah, here we have something about Bitcoin. Warning, Bitcoin suddenly looks overbought on the whole time hype day, October 20. That was yesterday. This makes me very happy. This makes me confident to hold my Bitcoin exposure here. Now, let's look at Solana also. Let's check ourselves what the actual situation is first. If you look at the sold to BTC chart first, we see this. Lash Online actually never turned blue. So if you entered at the start here, you still hold some exposure. It looked like a parabola break here, but it could be that we're still in the parabola, just this one instead. And on the USD chart, remember that you could enter here at 38 with very little risk. And right now we see something else very interesting. It's ugly, but this is an inverse head and shoulders pattern, which just confirmed. And the target from this one would safely take us past all-time high. 
Larger line is solid gold, solid bullish pattern in the chart, clear points of invalidation that would limit the downside risk. Everything you could wish for is here. So based on our own analysis, there is nothing in the chart indicating a sell is warranted here. So when then? When to sell? Well, now on top of my process, you also have one additional tool in your toolkit. When every other major mainstream influencer and every mainstream media like CNBC, Forbes and all the others say that Solana will take over everything and continue up forever to the moon, that's the time to consider selling instead. We're definitely not there for Bitcoin and I don't think we're there for Solana either yet. But if you start seeing many more articles like this, we could be. Get your Larsen Line course and indicator at c2larsen.com and celebrate with the Bitcoin wrap on this very happy Bitcoin day. See you there. I'm C2 Larsen. Tack. Hej då.